Hello everyone, myself Dr. Deepa Bain Gidar, working as Associate Professor in SG Palakundri Institute of Technology, Belagami. In this video, we will be studying linear differential equations with constant coefficients. So, these equations are very much important in electrical, mechanical and other linear systems. And also they play very important role in unifying mechanical and electrical oscillatory problems. So, what is linear differential equation? Linear, the word itself says 1. So, linear differential equations means the equations containing dependent variable and derivative of it with degree 1 and they are not multiplied together. Such equations are called as linear differential equations. So, these linear differential equations are denoted as dNy by dxn plus p1 dn minus 1 y by dx n minus 1 plus p2 dn minus 2 y by dx n minus 2 plus so on pn y is equal to some function x. Sphere p1, p2 up to pn are all functions of x. These equation, equ this equation is called as linear differential equation. Now we are studying linear differential equation with constant coefficient. It is clearly mentioned that it is a constant coefficient. So the same equation if we write like this d1y by dxn plus a1 dn minus 1y by dx n minus 1 plus a2 dn minus 2 y by dx n minus 2 plus so on last term a n y is equal to phi of x where a1 a2 a3 and so on up to a n are all constants coefficients are constants here such equation is called as linear differential equation with constant coefficient. So, this is of nth order. Degree is 1. So, such equation is called as linear differential equation. So, here order of this equation is n. Now, we are going to study such type of equation and solution. What are the rules? These equations play very important role in electrical and mechanical problems. These are very much applied over there. So now this is linear differential equation. This equation is very very important. Then how to solve such equations? For solving such equation we use one notation that is called as differential operator. What is a differential operator? We denote this operator by capital D. What is this differential operator? Differential operator means we write in place of d by dx is equal to d. d square by dx square is equal to d square and so on dn by dxn is equal to d raised to n. So that dy by dx becomes dy d square y by dx square becomes d square y and d raised to n y by d dn y by dxn becomes d raised to n y. So this d is called as differential operator. So substituting these in equation 1 we get in place of dNy by dxn, it is d raised to n y, a plus a1, d raised to n minus 1 y and so on up to a n y is equal to phi of x. So y is common, I will take y outside, so we will get this one. So this is function of d, I will denote it as f of d, it is function of y, function of d, y is equal to phi of x is equal to phi of x. So, this is the representation of linear differential equation. 
and d is assumed as it is a algebraic function so by using a regular factorization methods we can solve this equation we will get roots so here one more thing is important so order of this is n then here constants will be n constants will be n in the solution we will get the constants those will be n so suppose if one equation is there this is the considered equation if suppose it has solutions like y1 y2 up to yn these are the solutions of this equation then we represent this solution as y is equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 plus so on cn yn this will be our final answer always we should write the final answer like this so these are the constants c1 c2 up to cn are called as arbitrary constants if it is equation quadratic equation then we will get two constants if it is cubic equation then we will get three constants so always number of constants is equal to order of the equation and in the solution introducing constants is very important you have to put the constant and they are linearly dependent we have to write down the answer like this now we will solve or we will find out what are the rules to find the solution for this to study the solution so we will consider one simple quadratic equation generalized simple quadratic equation by comparing that you can find the solution for any order linear differential equation let us consider one equation as d square plus a1 d plus a2 y is equal to phi of x is equal to phi of x it is quadratic equation in this one suppose phi of x is equal to 0 then this equation is called as linear differential equation with homogeneous linear differential equation suppose phi of x is not equal to 0 then it is called as non homogeneous linear differential equation now we will study first homogeneous linear differential equation so phi of x is 0 if it is homogeneous that is phi of x is equal to 0 then we have to find out only cf cf means it is a complementary function its solution will be only complementary function suppose if it is non homogeneous that is phi of x is not equal to 0 then its solution will be y is equal to yc plus yp yc means it is a complementary function yp means it is particular integral so if it is non homogeneous we have to find out complementary function as well as particular integral so now we will study first homogeneous linear differential equations and how to find the solution first we will study rules what are the rules to write the solution so here we have considered second order that is quadratic differential equation if it is quadratic then we will get two roots let the roots be m1 and m2 okay so m1 and m2 these are the two roots of the equation nature of the roots will be three types of roots we will get one is real and distinct real and distinct so these are the nature of the roots second possibility is real and equal real and equal third possibility is imaginary so we will get only these three types of equation three types of solutions that is roots so suppose real and distinct means m1 is not equal to m2 then what is the solution then its complementary function is yc is equal to c1 e raised to m1x plus c2 e raised to m2x. This is the solution. So for this one, one example, suppose the roots are 2 minus 3. 
one equation is there its roots are 2 minus 3 then how will you write complementary function we write complementary function as yc is equal to c1 m1 is 2 e raised to 2x plus c2 e raised to minus 3x this is the solution or complex complementary function suppose roots are 1 by 2 minus 7 by 3 then yc is equal to c1 e raised to x by x by 2 plus c2 e raised to minus 7x by 3. In this way we have to write the solution. So this solution if it is order 2 we will get 2 constants and 2 roots. If it is of nth order then yc will be c1 e raised to m1x plus c2 e raised to m2x plus so on cn e raised to mnx mnx in this way we get the solution next if roots are real and equal real and equal that is m1 is equal to m2 they are equal say m say m then its complementary function is yc is equal to c1 plus c2x e raised to x c1 plus c2x e raised to mx okay suppose again one example will take 2 2 these are the roots of the equation then we write yc is equal to c1 plus c2x e raised to 2x e raised to 2x in general yc is equal to c1 plus c2x plus c3x square plus so on cn x raised to n minus 1 e raised to mx when roots are real and equal third one when roots are imaginary say roots are in the form p plus or minus i q where p is the real root and q is the imaginary part then how to write yc yc is equal to so this is real part e raised to px c1 cos qx plus c2 sin qx here also we have two roots one is p plus iq other one is p minus iq so this part is very very important in almost all the types of solving linear differential equations with constant coefficients first we need to find out the roots and write the complementary function if it is non-homogeneous also first we have to find out yc that's why these three are important when roots are real and distinct roots are real and equal and they are imaginary now we solve problems based on this how to solve homogeneous linear differential equation and how to find the roots how to write the solution for that so already examples are written here directly we will take roots just to practice how to write complementary function so what is the nature of first root it is imaginary so then it is of type 3 that is third type that when roots are imaginary its yc will be what is the real part here real part is 3 and imaginary part is 2 yc is equal to e raised to 3x c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x c2 sin 2x so this is the solution of first one and second one i'll write the solutions here so second one how many roots are there there are four roots how many constants you have to put you have to put four constants that you have to decide when you solve the, when you solve the example and how many roots you will get based on that so it is there are four roots so four constants will be there and then what is the nature of the roots all roots are real and they are distinct they are different so how to write yc yc is equal to for first root c1 e raised to x plus c2 e raised to minus x plus c3 e raised to 2x plus c4 e raised to minus 2x then for third one 
How many roots are there? So here just observe C1, C2, C3, C4, four constants. How many roots are there? Again, four roots are there. Four constants should be there in the solution. What is the nature of the roots? All are real and one is distinct and these three are same. So for this one, we have to write the solution. Next for these three, we have to write the solution. For this one, yc is equal to c1 e raised to 0 into x plus here three roots are equal. For that one, c1 plus c2x plus c3x square e raised to minus 2x. Anyhow, e raised to 0 into x is 1. So, it is c1 plus here it should be c2, c3, c4. c2 plus c3x plus c4x square. Always take care that the constant, same constant should not repeat in the solution. Because their values may be different. They are arbitrary constants. So, don't repeat the same constant. Next, fourth one. How many roots are there? 1, 2. This is 1 plus i, 1 minus i. So, 4 roots are there. These 2 roots are similar and this, these 2 roots are imaginary. For this one, yc is equal to equal roots c1 plus c2x e raised to x plus this is imaginary. So, c3 e raised to a real part is 1 e raised to x c3 cos x plus c4 sin x it is e raised to px p means here it is 1 cos qx q is also 1 so c3 cos x plus c4 sin x last one how many roots are there here also 4 roots are there but roots are similar. That is 1 plus 2i, 1 plus 2i. 1 minus 2i, 1 minus 2i. They are similar. So yc is equal to real part is 1 e raised to x. c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin c1 plus c2x cos 2x plus c3 plus c4x sin 2x. This is the solution. Suppose here this one huh? c4x square c1 c2 plus c3x plus c4x square. Again one more root is there then c5x cube will come like that. So this is very important. Just to try to understand how to write the roots and depending on the nature of the roots, how to write complementary function and those three types and just to take general roots and try to write on the solution. Now we will take exactly the problems. We, now we will solve some examples on this. So this is y double dash minus 6y dash plus 13y is equal to 0. First write down by using differential operator that is capital D. y double dash means a d square minus 6y dash means 6d plus 13y is equal to 0. It is homogeneous so only complementary function. Then we have to write auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation. What is auxiliary equation? Just we consider the coefficient of y and factorize it to find the roots. So here it is m square minus 6m plus 13 is equal to 0. So to find roots of this, directly you can use calci and you will get direct answer. So for this one, roots are 3 plus or minus 2i. Better you find it with calci, easily you will get. So roots are 3 plus or minus 2i. So we have yc is equal to 2 imaginary roots are there. How will you write the solution? This is real part and this one is imaginary part. So it is e raised to 3x c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x c2 sin 2x it is the solution next we will consider one more example that is m cube plus 6m square 
plus 11m plus 6 is equal to 0. So in your calc, till cubic equation, easily you can find the roots directly. Here roots are m is equal to minus 1, minus 2 and minus 3. These are the roots. So what is the nature of the roots? Nature of the roots, they are real and distinct. Always check, it is cubic equation, you should get 3 roots. When 3 roots are there, in the answer 3 constants will be there. So y c is equal to c1 e raised to minus x plus c2 e raised to minus 2x plus c3 e raised to minus 3x. So these are the simple examples I have considered. Now we will solve some lengthy problems on this. So next example, 4y triple dash plus 4y double dash plus y dash is equal to 0. Then we will write by using the operator, differential operator. 4d cube plus 4d square plus y dash means it is d y is equal to 0. Then auxiliary equation will be 4m cube plus 4m square plus m is equal to 0. So roots are 0 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2. So here 3 roots are there and 2 roots are equal. All 3 roots are real. So yc is equal to c1 e raised to 0 into x means c1 plus these 2 roots are equal. So we have to write c2 plus c3x e raised to minus x by 2. This is yc. Next example that is fourth one d cube y by dx cube plus y is equal to 0. So by using differential operator it is d cube plus 1 y is equal to 0. Then auxiliary equation will be m cube plus 1 is equal to 0 and roots of this equation are m is equal to minus 1, 1 plus or minus 3i by I repeat these answers directly you will get in cancel directly once you put in equations and you will get the answer. So here three roots are there one is real and other two roots are imaginary. So yc is equal to c1 e raised to minus x plus here real part is 1 by 2 imaginary part is 3 by 2 c1 e raised to minus x into plus e raised to 1 by 2 x into c2 cos 3x plus c3 sin 3x. c3 sin 3x. So in this way you have to write the solution. Then we will consider next example that is That is fifth one. So fifth example. When cube till cubic equation easily you can solve in Kelsey and write the answer. If it is of order 4, then how to solve? I'll, cons I'll take one example that is d4y by dx4 plus 4y is equal to 0. First you write down in terms of d. That is d raised to 4 plus 4 y is equal to 0. Then auxiliary equation is m raised to 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. These equations you cannot solve directly by using calcium. In such cases what we have to do? We have to, do, we have to make adjustment. That is m raised to 4 plus 4 is there. So I will write this one as m square plus 2 whole square. Take square root of this, square root of this. So m square plus 2 whole square. What is the expansion of this? m raised to 4 plus 4 plus 4 m square. That is 2 ab. That 4 m square is extra here. So I will subtract that. 4 m square is equal to 0. This is the adjustment you have to do. Then here it is m raised to 4 plus or else m square plus 2 whole square minus this one we can write as 
टू एम होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ इट इज इन द फॉर्म ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी इट इज इन दिस फॉर्म सो आई राइट दिस वन आंसर एज एम स्क्वायर प्लस टू एम आई राइट इन ऑर्डर प्लस टू वन ब्रैकेट एंड अदर वन इज एम स्क्वायर माइनस टू एम प्लस टू नाउ वी आर गॉट टू क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन अगेन यूज कैन सी एंड फाइंड द आंसर दैट इज फाइंड द रूट्स ऑफ दिस सो रूट्स आर वन प्लस और माइनस आई माइनस वन प्लस और माइनस आई यू कैन चेक विथ कैल सी दीज आर द रूट्स देन हाउ टू राइट द सोल्यूशन वाई सी इज इक्वल टू अगेन इट इज ऑफ ऑर्डर फोर यू विल गेट फोर कॉन्स्टेंट्स एंड फोर रूट्स आर देर फर्स्ट विल राइट फॉर दिस वन बोथ ऑल फोर आर इमेजनरी रूट्स फर्स्ट विल राइट सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस इट इज ई रेस टू पी इज वन ई रेस टू एक्स सी वन कॉस एक्स प्लस सी टू साइन एक्स प्लस हियर इट इज माइनस एक्स ई रेस टू माइनस एक्स सी वन सी टू आर ओवर सी थ्री साइन एक्स प्लस सी फोर सी थ्री कॉस एक्स प्लस सी फोर साइन एक्स दिस इज द सोल्यूशन नेक्स्ट सिमिलर वन मोर एग्जाम्पल इज देर सिमिलर टू दिस डी रेस टू फोर प्लस सिक्सटी फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो दिस इज सिमिलर टू दिस हियर फोर इज देर हियर सिक्सटी फोर इज देर हियर ऑल्सो वी मे वी राइट ऑक्सिलरी इक्वेशन इट इज एम रेस टू फोर प्लस सिक्सटी फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो हाउ विल यू एडजस्ट दिस यू कैन राइट दिस वन एज एम स्क्वायर प्लस एट इट इज इट्स स्क्वायर रूट इज एट इट्स स्क्वायर सो वट इज एक्स्ट्रा हियर एम रेस टू फोर प्लस सिक्सटी फोर प्लस सिक्सटीन एम स्क्वायर इज एक्स्ट्रा सो आई एल सब्रैक्ट इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो अगेन वी कैन राइट दिस वन एज एम स्क्वायर प्लस एट होल स्क्वायर माइनस फोर एम होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो अगेन यूल डू बाय यूजिंग दिस so this is similar example i hope easily you can solve this next we will consider one more example the next example is 4d raised to 4 minus 4d cube minus 23d square plus 12d plus 36 y is equal to 0 here we cannot adjust the terms and even we can can't use can see to find the roots in such cases how to solve it first we'll write auxiliary equation auxiliary equation will be 4m raised to 4 minus 4m cube minus 23m square plus 12m plus 36 is equal to 0. Okay, so we have to find one root by inspection. What is by inspection? By inspection means randomly we have to put some value. If that value satisfies this equation, then we think we take that one as the root of the equation. So first you put m is equal to one. Always take smaller numbers. If you put m is equal to one, what you will get here? If you put m is equal to one, so it is four minus four minus twenty three plus twelve plus thirty six. Is it equal to zero? This is not equal to zero. Then m is equal to one is not a root. Next you put m is equal to two. You can check with Kelsey. Just substitute here. m is equal to 2 what is the answer just take the answer it is 0 it will be satisfied then we take 2 as the root by inspection you check this one definitely will get 0 so m is equal to 2 is the one root then we have to find out three remaining three other roots so for that one we use synthetic division method What is synthetic division method? You have studied in your tenth and PU also. What is synthetic division method? I will explain here. In this one, we have to take the coefficients of the given equation in descending order. If any coefficient is not there, in that place you have to write zero. Here all the coefficients are there. Directly we will take four minus four minus twenty three, twelve, thirty six. Then 
by inspection first root is 2 so take m is equal to 2 and here is 0 this is the rule you have to apply the same rule for all the problems so here 4 plus 0 it is 4 then multiply these two 2 into 4 is 8 minus 4 plus 8 is 4 then multiply this one 2 into 4 is 8 and minus 23 8 is minus 15 then minus 30 12 minus 30 is minus 18 again minus 18 into 2 minus 36 here always you will get 0 that you have to observe always you will get 0 the now this fourth order equation reduces to cubic equation then by using these coefficients we can write 4m cube plus 4m square minus 15m minus 18 is equal to 0 for finding roots of this equation you can use calci by using calci your answers will be m is equal to 2 minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 so already we have one root then finally we have four roots that are that those are 2 2 minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 so two roots are equal two roots are equal they are real so yc is equal to c1 plus c2x e raised to 2x plus c3 plus c4x e raised to minus 3x by 2 this is the complementary function of this rule this problem similarly they may give other problem then also one root by inspection then by synthetic division method so we'll take one example when initial conditions are given so solve d square x by dt square plus 5 dx by dt plus 6x is equal to 0 and the conditions are given here given x of 0 is equal to 0 and dx by dt is 0 when t is equal to 15 when t is equal to 0 dx by dt is equal to 15 initial conditions are given so here when initial conditions are given we can find out the values of arbitrary constants first as usual method we have to apply d square in here parameters are different in place of x and y x and t are given only that is the difference so we will write by differential operating term d square plus 5d plus 6x is equal to 0 what is auxiliary equation here auxiliary equation is m square plus 5m plus 6 is equal to 0 and what are the roots of this equation roots of this equation are minus 2 minus 3 then we will write solution two roots they are real and distinct c1 e raised to minus 2x here we will use y only here x it is in terms of x x is equal to c1 e raised to minus 2t plus c2 e raised to minus 3t this is our complementary function now we will use given conditions to find out c1 and c2 what is the first condition first condition is x is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 so we will substitute this in equation 1 0 is equal to c1 e raised to 0 is 1 c1 plus c2 let this be equation 2 next condition is dx by dt is equal to 15 when t is equal to 0 so here dx by dt is given so we will differentiate equation 1 with respect to t differentiating 1 with respect to t what we will get here dx by dt is equal to differentiation of e raised to minus 2t is minus 2 e raised to minus 2t minus 2 c1 e raised to minus 2t 
and this one minus 3 c2 e raised to minus 3t. Now we will substitute the conditions. This is 15 is equal to this one will be 1 minus 2c1 minus 3c2. Let it be equation 3. Now 2 and 3 are two simultaneous equations in terms of c1 and c2 are the unknowns. So by solving simultaneous equations again you can use Kelsey. We will get solving solving 2 and 3 we get c1 is equal to c1 is 15 and c2 is equal to minus 15. Now we will substitute these in equation 1. Therefore from 1 or substituting in 1 we get x is equal to c1 is 15, 15 e raised to minus 2t minus 15 e raised to minus 3t. So this is the solution. When initial conditions are given then c1 and c0, c2 values can be found. So this is about method and what are linear equations with constant coefficient and all. Here what we have to do? First check whether given equation is homogeneous or non-homogeneous. If it is homogeneous, find out only yc. To find out yc, find the roots. Roots is equal to order of the equation. Order of the equation. Okay. And order of equation is same as number of constants number of constants then find the nature of the roots depending on the nature of the roots write down wise this is the method you have to apply so thank you if you like my video like comment share and subscribe